Just because they represent the king or queen doesn't mean they need to live like one. But Canada's governors general have been living the high life for quite some time. They travel, you pay. They dine out, you pay. They get raises, you pay. They want clothes, you pay for that too. Such is the life for taxpayers when it comes to the extravagant tastes of Canada's governors general. During her first trip abroad, Governor General Mary Simon and her 32-person entourage racked up an 800,000 bill during a four-day German book fair. Then came Simon's week-long trip to the Middle East that cost more than a million bucks. Simon and her band of bureaucrats spent almost $100,000 on fancy airplane food. Now you're probably wondering, just how in the world did they rack up nearly six figures on food on an airplane? They dined on beef wellington with rajou, beef carpaccio, apple and cranberry stuffed pork tenderloin with oven roasted squash, sauteed bustle sprouts, and a maple gravy. Mwah! That's not exactly like airline meals that us normal folk are used to, as Simon claimed. Then there's Simon's four-day visit to Iceland in October 2022 to give a 15-minute speech. Despite her hotel being an eight-minute walk away from the main conference hall, Simon spent about $71,000 at Ice Limo Luxury Travel. Now, you know they spared no expense when they could have saved money by buying a brand new BMW. And all of this came after the Governor General took a $50,000 pandemic pay bump, bringing the annual salary above $350,000. Taxpayers are also providing the Governor General with a credit card, which is essentially $130,000 for them to buy clothes over the five years. Payette was also a big spender. She spent nearly half a mil on renovations to Rideau Hall, all while never moving in. Then there's the Julie Payette pension problem. Despite serving the role for a little bit more than three years, Payette will still get a pension that will cost about $4 million to the age of 90. Former Governor General David Johnston is also no stranger to expensive international trips. During his time, he spent about $2 million on trips during his first three years on the job. That included a $900,000 tour of South American and Caribbean countries where Johnston and crew dropped about $3,000 on lobster and sushi dinners. Johnston also expended $76,000 to taxpayers after he left the role of Governor General. Adrian Clarkson expensed more than a million bucks to taxpayers after she left the role of Governor General. How is that even possible, you ask? The answer is that a former Governor General, when they leave the role, can expense taxpayers for more than $200,000 every single year for the rest of their lives and up to six months after their death. And we haven't even mentioned the 18.2 million smackers that Clarkson and her predecessor, Mikael Jean, combined to spend on fancy international trips. It goes on and on and on. But here's one you might not have heard before. A former ambassador, an astronaut, a lawyer, and a journalist all walk in to a publicly funded mansion in Ottawa. Now that might sound like a setup to a bad punchline, but there is no joke here. Just a bunch of taxpayers getting screwed.